Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Rex Cockatokin Creek. Nailed it! It's Katakin, and it's a gift from Mark Schilling. Now, I'm pretty sure Mark didn't have any financial interest in this distillery. Okay. Which makes him a magnificent bastard. Sure. But Mark Schilling was founder and pre one of the original founders and president of the American Craft Spirits Association. One Kurt Schilling, a big baseball player? Yeah, Mark Schilling. Conspiracies abound. Yeah. <laughs> Mark is just a general industry advocate, amazing human being, sure. with a personal interest and love of all things craft. But I think in this case, we can Magnificent Bastard. Mark Schilling, you Magnificent Bastard! <laughs> All right. So this is Katakin. That's what I said. It's an Indian name. Like syllable for syllable. From Virginia. Verbatim. This is uh, rye, if, if I'm not mistaken. What I said. It's roughly two years old. It's stuff they made. Copper pot still, not column still. Yeah. And uh, this is their distiller's edition. Mm -hmm. It's a 92 proof, so 46% alcohol. So, so I have a good analogy of what I think the difference between not all, rule of thumb, whiskeys off of a column still versus whiskeys off of a pot still. Okay. It's the difference between whenever you're getting like a steak mm -hmm. and a cut of lean meat versus mm -hmm. a cut of really well marbled meat. Oh, I could see that. Yeah. I buy that. Yeah. That's the difference that I see. Yeah, because the lean meat tastes thin. It tastes thin. It's there. You got some yeah. nice flavors. And there can be some beauty, like filet mignon. It's, it's a yeah. relatively lean cut. And it can be beautiful. But rule of thumb going into it, you want some beautiful marbling in there to give you like this, the fattiness and the, yeah. it just coats the, really the richness of it is what I see happening in a lot of copper pot still whiskey. Same thing on Ooh, the nose right here. Ooh, it's rich. I'm saying. So this is Scott and Becky Harris. Mm -hmm. What am I getting? I'm getting. There was a. There's some baking spices. There's some nutmeg in here. Yeah, but Brown there's sugar. a like fermented funk. No, there's. But a... it's not dirt funk. It's not grain funk. It's not the typical green pine funk right. that I get in the craft. It's something totally different. It's almost vegetal, like, and I mean, actually, actually, it's almost vegetable. It's almost like the steamed vegetable. Almost. Almost. But there's brown, there's baking spices in there with it. Yes. And the baking spices don't feel out of place with. No, it's balanced in the right. nose. Yeah. That is an interesting nose. I'm not sure what to do with that. I would call it earthy, maybe? What, what part of the earth? <laughs> the, like. Under a rotting log, where you get that musty, rich dirt. Oh, so black soil. Yeah. Black soil. Right. Oh, okay. Right, so you're like digging something. through and you get under the leaf pile, and the dirt's black and rich and yeah. still damp. Damp black soil. All right. But with the same spices. The baking you spices, said. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. there's some sweetness in there. Yeah. Well, wow. The that's... baking spices come alive on the taste. They really do. Yeah. Now I'm getting like a cinnamon in there. Yeah, the, the spice dominates on the palate. Mm-hmm. And it's nice. That's it. Goddamn if I'm not becoming a rye guy. This is, wait, hold on. This is a rye. Yeah. I wasn't listening. Wow, I'll, and, and you could have given okay, me. Okay, I'm still going. You could have given me like a dozen guesses. Yeah. And I would not have. Uh, I'm still going to choose scotch if I have the choice. How? But. As we've done this channel now for years, right. I am developing soft spots in my heart for bourbon, and now I'm having to begrudgingly admit that there's some rise that I can... There, there are... I'm going to say it this way. I don't know why it's begrudging, but it is. <laughs> but well, because... I know, I know exactly what, for me at least, right? In the early days of the channel, we kept getting hit with... Black licorice and anise, yeah, and black licorice and anise is like oh, stop! I know right. And I hate black licorice. I keep getting this like black licorice anise note uh, over and over and over again, and then we started getting into more craft and more you know pot still type stuff. Like yeah, this. it's like whoa, no, it doesn't have to be. That isn't intrinsically mand. It's like an, not a mandatory note in rye. There can be uh, very very different ends of the spectrum types of flavors. And damn man, there's some amazing rye experiences that we've had. So I would say. I am still getting the dry wood. Go back and look at that. <laughs> what is dry? Dry wood note. 
It reminds me of going to the, um... Oh, yeah. No. The flavors are lovely. Right. And I think they're probably proofed at just the right level for the market to enjoy the most. Yeah, I agree, because it's a little better than their 80. I've had their 80 before. A couple of dorks like you and me, this mm -hmm. is 46% alcohol. A couple of dorks like you and me, we see these notes, it's like, oh, wow, yeah, it's proof just right Dude. for the mass, for most people to get the most amount of flavor and the most amount of enjoyment without it being too hot. Here's the thing. But you and I know, it, even just like in the mid-50s, there's flavors in here that could be cranked up to a level that we would have to sit down lest we risk embarrassment. I'm about to add a huge amount of cinnamon into this rye for you. Okay. I just added water to mine and the cinnamon jumped straight to the top. See what I mean? Cinnamon and then a breadiness. Yeah. A breadiness for me shows yeah, up. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's really that's nice. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. I, I brought Rittenhouse as just a generic 100 proof rye to compare it to. Pour it. As... Do it! Do it! We have uh, Flagum on the subreddit. I found this yesterday, Stag Jr., and I figured I had better grab one. Uh, I have never had it before. Oh. I'm, not, I'm not much of a, of a reviewer -er, <laughs> so But I this would, is the best review ever. So I will just call it Super Bourbon. <laughs> Seems like I will never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> I read that on Reddit. <laughs> And I couldn't stop giggling. <laughs> super. So here's my review. Here's my review of Stag Jr. Super perfect. It's super perfect. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Isn't well, it funny? Well, the, no. It, it, here's the brilliant thing about it. <laughs> it boils down all of these lofty. They got flavors, and they got the notes, and they got the layers. So, whatever. It's made. basically. The main thing with Stag, Stag Jr. is bourbon, but you just crank up all the volume. Yeah. And the most efficient use of language to be able super to describe bourbon. that experience is, it's super bourbon. <laughs> it's, it's, just stronger. it's the most accurate review of, of Stag I've ever read in my whole life. I wish you would start, here's what I want to see. I want to see that guy start a review like blog. three word reviews. Yeah, where he never uses more than three. It's on Twitter. It's on Twitter. Right. It's called Whiskey Twitter Reviews, whatever right. he calls it. And he never uses more than four words mm -hmm. to, to to describe right. any whiskey. I would follow that. Be, you called Super Good Reviews. Yeah, Super Good Reviews. Right. Like the, the reviews are super good. Oh, do it. Yeah. Please do it. Super it's good so, reviews. It's such a contrast to all the reviewers who take themselves so seriously. Yeah, yeah. Super good. <laughs> we have... Uh, Dan did quit. I can't just you just try the written house. Okay. What's the name? Didn't get to get to tell Wait, wait. written house. Oh, I just tried the classic rye. rye More cinnamon than anything else and there's more of like a, 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 a Damp moist barn. Yeah, there's more grain. Yeah, and whereas this is still to the Nice vegetal rich loam note. Okay. Yeah. That's so remove mean. that rich deep loam, add more cinnamon, and you got written house. Man, on the nose I'm finding more cinnamon on the on the Well I on on this. Oh yeah, on this. Yeah, yeah, because I added water and the cinnamon jumped at the top. Okay. But without water, it the cinnamon's an accent. Of the two, I'm preferring this thing, man. Yeah, me too. Yeah. The um Kabala Kakak Titan. Katakin. Katokton. 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 And the way there's another word, Kreek. Hum, but I have it, but I have it. I just think of. I just think of. Katokton. Firele, 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 firele. Hit me! From the Three Amigos. They're reading the way to summon the invisible swordsman. Discussion wondering what is your guilty pleasure? Cheap, flavored, weird. Does it have to be a whiskey? I don't mind. I have a guilty pleasure. In whiskey? And just in food? Just in, no, all no, no, food, in all alcohol. drinks. Okay. In alcohol. Right. Really like Bailey's. Me too! On ice. Oh, it's the Bailey! Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say the so, Bailey. <laughs> so good. On everything. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give you a dessert. So you don't get well into it thinking, this is a whiskey drink. I'm like, no, it's just no, no, no. It's, its own thing. On ice, in coffee, anyway. Right. Any way you drink it, I'm in. <laughs> Right. Now, Hot or cold. Doesn't matter. All right. Now, I have a dessert that will change your life. Uh, Are you ready? I'll look, okay. It doesn't take any real preparation. You don't have to cook. All right. You just have to assemble it 
in your on your counter and then eat it. Can I have somebody else assemble it for yeah. me? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Coffee mug filled with Hagen does coffee ice cream. Okay. Now, actually, ironically, the Starbucks coffee ice cream is a little better. Yeah. But most people can't get that one. So Hagen does not the generic other brand. Thinking through this. Hagen does coffee ice cream. You got a handle. Yeah. One scoop or two. Right. Just leave room in the mug. All right. Bailey's Irish cream on top of the coffee ice cream. You're cheating now. Yeah, yeah. You're cheating. And then, you know those little uh, containers of the wafer straws? Mm hmm And they say hazel, the hazelnut wafer straws? Hazelnut. Yeah, I can't wafer. remember what they're called, but they're... they're oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. I got it, yeah, yeah. Crack those, drop it in for the crunch. Okay. Eat it with a spoon. All right. Done. Okay. Come on, the, it, you one bite and you'll think I could eat like five of these right. and not get tired of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coffee ice cream, specific a Hagen dazs because it's creamier. Right. Bailey's Irish cream and hazelnut cookie straws. Mine isn't nearly as elaborate. Okay. And it, it's uh, you can get out of gas station. <laughs> of course you can. Of course you can. Uh, guilty pleasures like cheap and weird, and not that impressive. Tabasco Slim Jims. Oh, oh, yeah. That, I can see that. I love the Tabasco Slim Jims. Tabasco Slim Jims. Yeah. You know my gas station? I have a gas station guilty pleasure. Yeah? Because when I was touring, yeah. that's the only place to grab something to snack on at 3 in the morning when you're stopping for gas. Oh, don't say Ding Dongs. No. Oh, I do like Ding Dongs. <laughs> yeah. Love the Ding Dongs. Love those. Uh, Sucking them down. No, 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 no. It was the cappuccino machine in a gas station. Where it's like, you can choose vanilla or... Oh, the flavored Yeah, things? the flavored cappuccino. Yeah. It's not cappuccino. It's basically like a hot cocoa right. flavored thing. Yeah. But I would get the 20 ounce one. Right. And I would drive and sip on it. <laughs> right? And then when it ran out, I would eat uh, sunflower seeds and spit them into the empty cup. Oh, all right. Sunflower seeds... I, that's less of a guilty pleasure. That doesn't seem as... No, it's pretty trashy, too. We're just trashy, trashy men. <laughs> Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may you, you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.